Hi. Oh boy. <laughs> well, to the veritable edge of Western civilization, Finnish Beach, California. Today is Thursday, October 9th. <laughs> and uh, this is show number 88. It's beautiful weather, a little a little chillier, or not chilly, but cooler, I should say, than it has been the past week or so. And what we have, um, remember the day before yesterday that we had the vice president here? <laughs> well, today we have the president is a couple of miles away. Um, and, uh, <laughs> Not to be outdone is uh, John Biner, the um, Speaker of the House of Representatives in, in the OC. So Southern California is very popular with the political set today. Um, and contrary to popular belief, it's, it's not the end of life as we know it. Uh, between ISIS and oh, oh, uh, what is it? Uh, is that Ebola? No, we're, we're still here. Yeah. So this is the work that we did uh, up till um, yesterday afternoon. We went off the air. And uh, today we're going to have some fun with that. Yes, we are. Let's try that right there. Yes. Wow. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. Okay. So what goes in here? It's so promising. I should probably take before I do anything to it.
Seeing something in my head. Clear vision.
<laughs> that was cool. That was cool. That worked. Yep. Hi, my friend. How you doing, brother? Very good, thank you. Yes, I'm good. It's good to see you up and about. It's that brother with the recovering from a stroke. Hi there. Hi. That's good. Did you enjoy Rainbow Gathering this year? I did. And you? Did you yes, of course. Oh, yeah. Me and my buddies were up there, too. Nice. nice. Excellent. You heard about the consensus, right? What's that? You heard about the consensus for next year? No, I didn't. We actually, some bad stuff happened up there. We couldn't spend the whole week there. It was kind of about three days. Really? Yeah. What happened? We um we went up there and we actually got pulled over for like, tailgating a cop apparently. And we Wait, got, what? We were like tailgating a cop up there and just like riding his ass, I guess. And he um, pulled us out and got caught with mushrooms up there. Oh, that's way not good. Oh, no. Yeah, and we... Uh, that happened and we had to leave. But it was cool. We went there. It was amazing. Yeah. That was my first rainbow gathering. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Well, I hope it gets better from there. Oh, yeah. It's gotten <laughs> a little better. So what happened with the with the litigation? Um, They let us off with what we have community service to do. I know. A shit. Bit. Yeah. You but, were so freaking lucky. Yeah. We, we, we knew there was a bunch of drugs up there and stuff, so we just, we just let us off. Just We didn't have a record or anything, but it still just bums me out, man. Uh, you're lucky you're not sitting in federal prison for yeah. the rest of your life. Yeah. You know? So, congratulations. Debating whether or not to double these, to split those in half as well. I think we're going to do that. Have a great day, brother. Yeah, you too. Hope to see you at the main circle. Uh, yeah, right. But, uh, it wasn't as, like, wasn't as crazy as I was hoping. It was awesome. I was thinking it was going to be like, look like a natural But it was still like probably the biggest, you know, the pros I've ever seen. Yeah, you know, I had my boy. My God, people these days.
crazy, crazy. Okay. Here's the fun part. You know, it's funny how this came about. My car painted the background yesterday. Last night I was meditating on what, what you go in, what you go inside. And I saw something like this. It's kind of amazing. Think about the, the metaphysics of that. You can just see it in your head. Well, uh, execute. How you doing? Did you make that? Yes, oh, everything. Okay. How long does it take to do that? Oh, that probably took about two hours. Oh, wow. It's actually a, a blow up of a painting like that is about this big. Okay. And the painting is this big. Okay. Cool. Thanks. It's all the points in the flower of life all connected to one another okay. by straight lines. Right. Okay. The flower of life. Okay. Yep. Flower of life. Yep. So there's 37 points, uh -huh. and they're all connected by straight lines. Okay. So do you see it as a cube? Yes. I see. I also see the triangle. I think it's really easier to see it in that one. Yeah. Uh, the one that you were looking at. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, see it as a cube, I mean. 
Try looking at it without your sunglasses. That doesn't help. It's uh, optical lenses. Okay. <laughs> Watch out for that glass. Thank you. Oh, yeah. We got 43%. Let's see how much we can get put down on this. So we are going to want to. These are 15 without the frame, and then 35 with the frame. And then the smaller ones are 5 without the frame, and coming with the frame. And all the frames are going to be by me as well. And they're black. Whatever. 
There's more images in here.
Yep. Maybe you can give me this uh, only um, paper. I have my suit back, so. Yeah. And that's the last I'm, one. In the that's frame. the last one. Yeah, there's one in, out of the frame in here. So it's hard to wait for the back. You can roll it up. I should just say that. Comes with a free hair tie.
So there's my blurb right there. Would you like me to roll it up for you? Yes. What's your favorite color? Green hair tie. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much. Love you so much. Thanks for the work. Yay! First sale of the day. First sale in a couple of days. <laughs> Hey, did I make any money yesterday? Well, I don't know. What does she say? It's been lean. But not lean. I was doing this research in the book. And um, I was studying... Um, Gamma ray bursts. Just sounds like a funny thing to say, right? <laughs> I was studying gamma ray bursts last night, and um, and I was studying uh, the last uh, glacial period. I, I found out that we're actually still in a the ice age. We're, you know, it's considered we're still considered in an ice age, and that. The Ice Age has been going on for the past 110,000 years, something like that. And um, there have been uh, links in glacial periods, and between each one of them, there's a you know what's called a, uh, an interglacial period, and we just happen to be in one of those for the past uh, uh, roughly 10,000 years. We've been in in an interglacial period. But what I was looking at was possible correlations between the end of the last uh, glacial period with um, with this uh, uh, supernova that went off in, hey there, in the constellation Bella um, in the southern hemisphere about um, 11 to 13,000 years ago. And what's interesting about that, about that uh, supernova is uh, recent discoveries have, have turned out that, that there's actually three, the remnants of three different supernova in the same, within the remnant of that, um, of the Vela supernova. What's called the Vela supernova remnant, right? Um, there's one that's about four times as far away, but it's in the same spot, right? And then there's one that may actually be closer, um, but it's in the same, uh, you know, what looks like a nebula. It's, you know, it's the debris field from that supernova. So I've been studying supernovas. <laughs> so it's, it's it's something I you know when I was a kid that's what I wanted to study. You know? So here I am being a kid studying the stuff I wanted to study. Finally getting around to it. Um, gamma rays are pretty interesting things, you know, right? Um, I've been studying like what, what, what causes them. And the most, I think the most interesting thing about gamma rays, gamma ray bursts, there's two kinds. There's um, short ones and long ones. And a long one is between 30 and 40 seconds. And those are, you know, as far as earthlings are concerned, those are the most deadly. Something like that went off within three uh, three thousand uh, 
light years of us, we would be toast. But fortunately, nothing like that has happened and or is likely to happen. And it looks like um, you know, Vela is in the Ark, Ark, is in the Milky Way galaxy, and there aren't any, there aren't many stars that are are um, in our galaxy that are likely to go off like that, as big as those supernovas. There are some, um, so we're we're for the moment safe with regards to worrying about. As if you didn't have enough to worry about, right? Don't worry about gamma ray stuff. So, but it's some fascinating stuff. Apparently, the last time there's there's a lot of research. The theory that that um, there was a gamma ray. It looks like there was a gamma ray burst that passed through the solar system about 450 million years ago. There are actually two of them in the space of um, four hundred and fifty to four hundred and forty million years ago. There were two of them. And they caused uh, if, if the the theories are true and there's you know, no telling if they are. At this point, we're still doing research on it. Um, but uh, it looks like at that 450 million years ago, the majority of the, of the life forms on the Earth were in the ocean. And in a very short time, um, which happened to coincide with the with these two gamma ray bursts going through the solar system, um, it looks like uh, sixty percent of the life forms on Earth were or went extinct. But you know, not all um, supernovas are aimed at the Earth, and in fact, um, there were. It turns out that about a thousand years ago, there were two. Around 700 A.D., 750 A.D., there were there were two. Um, supernovas that, that went off. What a supernova is, it's when a, um, a star, uh, usually it's when a star um, collapses in on itself and then explodes. And, um, you know, we didn't know a whole lot about these happening other than when, if they were directly observed until we just, you know, started to scan the sky for um, x-ray radiation and um, once we did that you could see the, the remnants of all these supernovas having gone off and the the Vela supernovas remnant is one of the brightest objects in the the our celestial sphere um, as viewed through x-rays I don't know if this is at all interesting to you. It's freaking fascinating to be to me, but that's because um, I'm doing all this research for uh, the next book, and uh, I really enjoy it. I have to say, it's something very wonderful about savoring it all. Sometimes you just wish you just that, that that's all you could be doing, you know, but.
and there will come a time for that towards it when it's time to publish it. You know, a couple of weeks, you're just kind of doing that all the time. And get it up into a publisher. I'll be self publishing, of course. And, um, most likely on the Create Space platform, Amazon's publishing on the main site. But that's a ways off right now. I'm still formulating. Got about target around 100 pages, and I'm probably halfway there right now. I know. So the reason I was looking at those gamma rays, studying gamma rays, is I was trying to see if there was a, um, a correlation to the arrival of, of uh, excuse me, the end of the last glacial period and the, you know, about approximately 10,000 years ago and this, uh, the Vela supernova. Hey, how you doing? Well, I was definitely going for lovely. Did you hear about um, Shelly and No, man. I can't even. I can't. I, I got no head space for okay. that noise. <laughs> Good luck with that. Keep me posted. These folks are trying to organize um, the rainbow. I mean, the boardwalk, the rainbow. I'm trying to organize the rainbow. I'm trying to organize the, the boardwalk into some sort of artist cooperative or something, man. And, I really hope that doesn't happen. I've seen this happen in other places like Key West and whatnot. And it, it works really great for the people to get in early, but down the road, it's really hard for anybody to get into it. Um, and the best thing about Venice is anybody, even you, could just show up and set up and everything would be cool. That's what it's, that was what it was designed to do, you know. To be a place where anybody could come and set up, but once you start having like a an artist union or something like that, that people have to get vetted for, it's like you know you get people with vested interests deciding who's an artist and who gets to sell, and I, you know that that doesn't go well. It creates a lot of friction and enemies and blah 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 blah. Not pretty. Don't want to see it happen. Anytime any, usually whenever anybody tries to organize this place, just like anybody tries to organize rainbow gatherings or something like that, you know, there's, there's going to be a fair amount of chaos inherent to the process. And unfortunately, the people involved here are, are not the most articulate. They have really poor communication skills. And um, a lot of overbearing men. It's not good for anybody. So I see I've got less than 10% left, so I'm going to have to cut it short. And the sun's going down, got to pack it up. 
Give me a minute. It's a little more. Why do you get a general idea of where this is headed at the moment? I will, of course, be, I mean, post. <laughs> post the, uh, where it goes and gets to on Facebook. And we'll take it from there. <laughs> Today was show number 88. How about that? 88. A master number. That is so cool. Something like that. I think it's funny how it works, you know, it's, there was hardly anybody here all day and then in the space of, you saw, there were a whole lot of people standing around and looking at the work and then somebody bought something and then it goes back to the way it was before where nobody's paying any attention at all. Weird how it's like that. Like people are interested because somebody else is interested. You know? Otherwise, there's nobody there, nobody at the booth, and people feel like it's not worth their attention. It's weird. It's weird how it works like that. Damn, this is really drinking some electricity. All right, so it's at 3%. I really have to stop painting and say goodbye. <laughs> hey, you. So, um, once again. And remember, uh, we love you. <laughs>